So this is why, in my opinion, um, the next-gen consoles, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, will almost definitely be delayed uh, due to the coronavirus. Um, and uh, the reason is, well, a lot of people are just like, well, uh, production, like, they can't really get them if the parts aren't really being manufactured in China. And it's, oh, excuse me. It's just like, yeah, but they could go to another country where uh, they can manufacture the parts. So it's not really so much the parts, at least the, um, I don't think that will be the main killer here. I think it to be if the coronavirus is still hanging around because where do you go to get a new console to a shop and then if it, you know if the new consoles are launching then those shops will be presumably really busy and it would just be a massive breeding ground for the coronavirus and uh, I dare say that um, Microsoft and the, the Sony know this. It's like, ah, yeah, if we launch them while the coronavirus is still around, and then everybody who buys our consoles get catches coronavirus because they had to wait around for ages next to somebody who had the coronavirus, that's going to be a lot of bad PR. Um, yeah, we might going to have to delay this, but... E even if it does get delayed, I'm not saying this is guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be delayed into 2021, early 2021. Um, I don't think they're going to be like, uh, yeah, we're just postponing it. I think it, it, they're going to wait until the literal last possible second, because they know, and, uh, and you know, this is probably going to happen, that if they announce that their consoles are getting delayed, their stocks are going to take a hit, so I think they will wait until the last possible second, just in case they don't have to. It's just like they don't want to announce it too early. Uh, oh wait, we can we can actually just launch it uh, regularly, and our stocks have taken a hit for no reason now. So I do believe they will wait until I'd say until ne around about the their original launch date in this year to announce them um, being postponed. Whether or not they'll, they'll say they're being postponed until 2021 is not really possible to tell right now. They could just like, we're delaying it and not really give it any time. Um, and then later on just be like, yeah, when the coronavirus is definitely gone, just be like, yeah, we're launching it in a couple of months. Um, but I don't really think it's going to be in this year. So they're looking to launch it, launch Xbox One, what Xbox Series X, and the uh, PS Five. So um, later on this year. And if the coronavirus is still around, that's probably going to knock it back at least a couple months, um, because we don't really have a vaccine. But like vaccine even near ready right now and who knows how long that could take um and this is uh, like in the same strand of the flu i think it was so i don't know i'm not i'm not the best with science i you know i'm good with science but i'm not i'm not the best um but yeah basically it's gonna take a while to get a vaccine up and going so I'd say that if they are going to delay because of the coronavirus, it they will delay it. But whether or not the coronavirus will be enough to delay it out of 2020 is another thing we have to consider. Um, and right now we can't really tell because it would depend on how far, you know, how quickly the vaccine gets developed. Um, and the... the if the vaccine is nearly done, uh, near the time when they were originally planned to be released, then I don't think they'll be booted. Out. They'll just they'll be delayed out of 2020. I think into 2021. I think they'll just be delayed, be delayed slightly later into 2020. But what I think is um, 
They they want a buffer of a few months between announcing the release date and d them actually releasing it. So, it, so if it if the coronavirus is still knocking around, uh, surely after the second half of the year, I do believe they will. The Xbox Series X and PlayStation Five will probably be knocked out of 2020. Um, and then the, and this is just like my best the, um, working out from like the information I've uh, heard from like sport news news places like Sport and Wave Media um, and the, um, yeah we re review Tech USA. And uh, you know those guys, um, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and I definitely think it that they will probably be knocked out of 2020 and into 2021. Um, and uh, something I want to mention here quickly: this is ironically really good news for Nintendo and with for the Switch because. I don't think Nintendo will launch a a more powerful Nintendo Switch until um, until the uh, until the next gen is in full swing. So what I f and even then they might just release Switch 2.0 instead of uh, s instead of a upgraded Nintendo instead of just like a slightly more powerful regular Nintendo Switch or a bigger Nintendo Switch. I think they just they might just release Switch 2.0. Anyway, so uh yeah. Basically um that would mean that um the next gen will take longer to go get into, you know, full gear. Because for I'd say at least one or two years um definitely first year Maybe second year might maybe one and a half years, but I think for the first two years, a lot of um, games on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation Five will be, you know, all also launching on uh, uh, Xbox uh, 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 Xbox One X and PlayStation Four Pro, uh, which will mean that um, it should it wouldn't be too hard. Um, or much harder to port it over to the Switch, meaning that the Switch will get to uh, port for a longer period of time. But uh, yeah, I definitely see the fact uh, the thing. You know, I definitely see the Switch getting a more powerful set. You know, Switch 2.0 or a mid-generation revision. Very likely in 2022 or 2023. Uh, 2021 is possible, but unlikely. And even though I don't think it's gonna, they'll release Switch 2.0. I think it would only be a mid-generation refresh at, in 2021, and not a Switch 2.0, um, which is cool. I mean. It's good for the Switch. Um, means the Switch gets uh, uh, a bit, a few, a um, another year of viability um, on top of what it's already had. So yeah, that's basically the long and the short of it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell me what you think down in the uh, comment section below. Do you think uh, um, PlayStation Five and the, the Xbox Series X will be? Uh, um, Knocked into 2021, and how and uh, how stupid do you think the name Xbox Series X is? I I think on a scale of one to ten, I think it's a uh, level seven on the stupidity scale. I really don't like the naming system. Like seriously, apparently, um, the the entire reason the Xbox 360 was called the Xbox 360 is because they didn't want an Xbox Two because they didn't want it to have a smaller number than the PlayStation Four Three. So, yeah, they, they Microsoft aren't good at naming consoles at all. They've never been good at naming consoles. And I like the 360, um, not as much as my Wii or Switch um, or my Nintendo 64. 
Um, but I love my 360. 360. I've had so much fun on it. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.